Hi guys, J.P. Cormier here again with video number three in the Boucher Diaries. And uh, these videos were uh, brought on by the questions I got from several groups on Facebook and other places about my, uh, about my Boucher guitars. And uh, it's quite a story, so I've decided to put the whole thing in one place and give you an idea of the, the instruments I own of theirs and why I bought them. So this is this one here is a third Boucher I purchased, and uh, the way I came into this one was I went over to Montreal uh, to this m massive recording studio, uh, and they had uh, 27 Boucher guitars in that studio. And uh, so the idea was for me to go over and play every single guitar and be filmed and recorded in this beautiful studio. And they were going to use them for a promotional video. And, of course, I, I do everything I do for Boucher because uh, I love the guitars. And uh, so I went over there and uh, I, I found a guitar. I saw I played a guitar in there that uh, when I when I played it, it uh, I don't know, something happened. Something weird happened. I. Uh, I've never really used small body guitars. Uh, OMs are about as small as I've gotten. Although I have played uh, triple O and parlor size guitars in the past, uh, it's not something I would use all the time. The, re the main reason being that they're only 12 fret. The body, jo the neck joins the body at the 12th fret, so the 14th. And I play a lot up there, so uh, there's some things I would have to sacrifice if I played a 12 fret guitar. But I found this instrument. This is a triple aught 12 fret studio goose built out of beautiful East Indian rosewood. Just gorgeous. Maple maple trim and binding. Herringbone top and on the top and this beautiful slotted headstock. Uh, nice Waverly tuners, beautiful Waverly tuners. And when I played this thing, I could not get over the sheer volume and tone of this as a small body guitar. You'd never think a guitar like this, like I'm speaking and it's ringing. I have to put my hands over it. And, uh, but it's just, it's an incredible instrument. It does not sound like a triple out at all. an absolute cannon and I fell in love with it and I was outside having a smoke and Robin was having a vape and I said you know that triple lock guitar is supernatural I, I've got to have that guitar and uh, I already named her because it was so funny I had just gotten my previous dreadnought Boucher I had called her Boo Boo so I called this guitar Yogi <laughs> so I know the sizes are reversed, you know, Yogi was the big bear and Boo Boo was the little one, but so that's why it was so funny. So I called, but I called her Yogi. And, uh, so, so, Bo so Mr. Boucher, Robin, he, he made sure I got the guitar and, uh, and I'll tell you something really weird uh, of all the guitars that I own. And I, I've got about 15 or 20 of them. Uh, uh, this guitar keeps coming out in the road with me more than any other instrument I've ever owned. This, I don't know what it is about this guitar. And I sacrifice losing these two frets. And when I play things that are up there, I have to literally get over the body and play them. But I don't care because this thing sounds so good and plays so easily that it's it's just an jo absolute joy to play this guitar. Is His... He makes the best small body guitars in the planet. There's, I, fight me. He does. There's no, there's no way around it. And uh, there are guitars that may be small of stature, but they sound three times as large as they really are. And uh, this is a prime example of it. This guitar here, 
just a beautiful guitar. And every, everywhere I go, people are amazed by the, the sheer uh, vo pressure, volume pressure that comes out of this guitar. And uh, I love it. I play it all the time. I tour with it nearly constantly. Between me, this one, and Boo Boo, I play this guitar, I think, more than any Boucher I own. And, uh, and every kind of music, not just bluegrass or not just Celtic or whatever, it's good for everything. And uh, so I'll give you a little sample of it. Here, here try this on for size. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So that's Yogi, and uh, she's just an incredible guitar. Uh, she has all the qualities, I think, of uh, that you want, that you'd find in a Dreadnought, except she's just in a smaller package and with a shorter neck. Uh, but I just love her. I play her all the time, and... Uh, just one of the one of the best guitars I've ever owned. There's no question. Uh, Robin definitely does make the best small body guitar that you can buy. And uh, so, there you go. There's Yogi, uh, the Boucher Triple Ot Rosewood, uh, standard model again, bare bones, nothing fancy, just a great guitar. And uh, if you like what you saw, hit subscribe, give me a like. Uh, Pass this around to your friends. And, uh, yeah. So we'll see you on the next video. There's, uh, let's see, what have we got now? Three. There'll be five more. Uh, I was wrong on the, the last video. I said there'd be five more. But there's eight guitars. So, yeah, we got five more to go. And uh, just taking you down through the, uh, the old Boucher catalog there, as it were. <laughs> anyhow, it ain't fair for me to have all these guitars. I'm telling you, it's stupid. But anyhow, what am I, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. All right, Boucher, J.P. Cormier, love yous all. See you soon.